I was in a lecture last year and I was typing so fast and I still couldn't keep up with the lecturer so I just closed my laptop and gave up. It is so frustrating when we spend all our time taking notes and yet we don't get the results that we want. So Vesti, I improved on my note taking skills and I'm going to share them with you today. In this video, we'll talk about how to take notes fast in class, how to take effective notes that help you memorize easily, how to take notes for revision, and so much more. I will change your life with the second tip, so be sure to stay tuned for that. First, here's a fast note-taking method that you can try in class when your teacher sounds like they are rapping instead of speaking. Here's what to do before class. Write down all your learning objectives. Make sure to leave a few gaps in between. It should be in your lecture slides or in your textbook. You can get this preparation done in literally 5 minutes when the teacher is still setting up the classroom, so you have no excuse, bestie. Basically, you only want to take notes when your teacher or lecturer is explaining something that's relevant to the learning objectives. Instead of being super stressed and trying to catch up with the teacher the entire time in class, just observe. If he's explaining something that's relevant to the learning objective, then type. If he's not, then just listen. People tell us all the time to just write down what's important. But what even is important? Your learning objectives are. Usually lectures are recorded, so you can just take notes for the other parts after class. If you're in high school or college and your classes aren't recorded, everything else will still be in your textbook or other resources that your teacher provides. It's not the end of the world. That's how you take effective notes. Having your learning objectives right in front of you also makes sure that you know when to focus during class. Because I totally understand wanting to zone out, especially when you're tired. Here's a bonus tip. If you don't understand something in class and you're typing down your notes in Notion, you can just highlight the text and ask Notion AI to explain it. Then paste its explanation below your point. If you're more fluent in another language, you can also ask Notion AI to translate it for you. I bet you didn't know you could use Notion for that. I also highly recommend that you use abbreviations and acronyms. For example, I use two-tailed arrows to represent the word increasing and three-tailed arrows to represent the word highest. Here are some other symbols that you can use if you like to type out your notes. Super useful when it comes to sciences. Of course, over time you should be able to create a list of abbreviations or symbols that work best for you. But I have created a special template you can print or add into your notes to get you started so you can write your notes super fast in class. The price of this template is for you to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow my new Twitter account. I've been posting study tips there. That's it. Don't underestimate how much abbreviations can save you time in class. Next, how to take notes from textbooks. I'm going to change your life in the next few seconds. Type or copy the paragraph in your textbook that you want to take notes on. Paste it into Notion. Then, highlight that section and ask Notion AI to change it into point form. There you go. You can also ask Notion AI to simplify anything complicated that you don't quite understand. I wish I had this feature when I was still studying law. It would have saved me so many tears. You can also ask it to write an outline for an essay that you're struggling with. You're welcome and the link to try Notion is in the description box below. I will also include the four free Notion templates I created for you besties over the years plus my Notion tutorial down in the description box. Next, here's how to take notes for science subjects or content-heavy subjects. The most efficient and quick method is called the outline method. You can see that my biology and content-heavy subjects follow this format. You can start by writing down the main idea or topic at the top of your page. Personally, I like to create a list of the learning objectives at the beginning of each topic. Then, I'll check them off as I complete my notes so I know what's missing. I do this for biology and chemistry. Then, as you're typing, organize your notes according to the type of information the sentence is about. Here's what I mean. The term or the concept is right at the edge of the page. The definition of the term is one tab to the right. Any explanations or steps to processes are two tabs to the right, and examples are three tabs to the right. 
Here's an example of what your notes should look like. It's really more simple than it sounds. I have no idea if I'm using the right terminology. Is tabbing even a word? But if you understand what I mean, then that's enough. The outline method keeps your notes consistent and organized, and you have no idea how much a familiar structure can help you with your revision. Next, how to take notes that help with memorization. The advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you'd like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you. Let me introduce you to the split page method. I'm not sure if that's the right name for this note-taking method, but here's what I do and it helps so much with memorizing facts. Divide your page into two columns. The left side for cues, the right side is for notes. Write the main ideas or topics in the left column. The explanations, supporting details or examples will be in the right column. When you're revising, you cover the right column with a piece of paper or your hand and try to recall the main ideas using only the cues in the left column. You can do all your notes this way, but if you already have a main set of notes, you can just write the page number of your notes or a textbook page containing the answer in the right column. It doesn't have to be super complete. This note-taking method is more to help you revise. The split page method helps you reinforce your memory by requiring you to actively recall information from memory rather than simply reading it over and over again. You can also use highlighters. Blue for definitions, red for terms, and green for processes. I do this for chemistry. Next, how to take notes for revision. My favorite way is by using mind maps. Start with the main idea in the center and subtopics branching off. You can refer to your textbook for this part. Then, put away your reference and write as much as you know about each subtopic in a specific color. For example, write everything in black. Once you're done, you can bring back your notes or your textbook and then fill in the gaps in your mind map with a different color. This way, you understand what you know and more importantly, what you don't know. Super simple and effective note-taking method. Next. How to take notes when you don't feel like studying. Here is the sticky note method. Simply write down the key points or questions on sticky notes and place them around your room or your home. This just takes 10 minutes and as you go about your day, you'll repeatedly read these sticky notes. Just because you keep bumping into and reading these sticky notes, you start to remember the facts that you wrote on them without even trying. I have this essay that's due soon that I don't feel like writing, so I just wrote the question, the essay question on a sticky note and stuck it in my bathroom. So every time I pass by, I'll start thinking about my essay, and that's how I came up with my essay content without trying. Too hard. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you like taking notes or not. Like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you all for 926,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye!